extra time. Mishti Kotha, Bengal's newest taste of sweets. That decent start, but the drop touch to the skipper, Cooley, that would have changed the game. Yeah, we got a whole lot of chance, you know, we didn't hold him today and, you know, he made us pay for it. Um, you know, credit to him, you know, he batted really well and, you know, he won the game for Indian Day. Um, um, Gail, this may be Chris Reed's last game for the rest of the match, um, what, what would you remember the most of playing with Chris the last few years? Well, for my, to my knowledge, he hasn't, he hasn't retired from international cricket as yet, you know, but Today was just an example of his career, you know. Um, you know, the knock he, he played today was outstanding. You know, he got us off to a really good start. You know, he was entertaining. You know, he showed presence, and you know that's just what people come to, to expect with Chris Gill over the years. So today was just a perfect example for we played. It's really important of putting a complete team together because we played good at certain points of this game, but still couldn't complete the match and getting good. Yeah, you can say that for the entire series, you know, from the T20 straight here to the to the last ODA. Um, you know, we've we've played some pretty decent cricket in patches. Uh, it's just a matter for us you know, to bring it together uh, more often than not, and that's where we've we've, we've failed in the past, and now we continue to let ourselves down. Yeah, lots of positives, man. Um, you know, the way the, the um, Chris Pillar today, Evan Lewis, you know, showing a lot of form as well too. Um, I thought the bowlers had a reasonable time too, you know, yes, in the last game, you know, I thought we bowled really, really well. And today we're probably off a little bit, you know, but generally I think the bowling has really led us in the last couple couple games and it's just a matter for us to continue to build, you know, as I said, or I keep saying, you know, it's just a matter for us to really seize the key moments in the games and, you know, play those key moments a little bit better than we have been in the past. Well, uh, um, the captaincy of the West Indies is the most unforgiving job. In, in the Caribbean, even more than the Prime Ministers of the Caribbean. Um, of course, not winning the series, the ODI series, and the, the, uh, the one day the T20 series would have been a dis bit of dis disappointing. Are you going to um, pick up the pieces in time for the first test? Well, we've got a few days off. Um, this is a, probably a fresh group, you know. Um, Different phases coming into the, the, the test squad, you know, and it's a matter for us you know, to continue the, the good work we've been doing in test cricket over the last two, three years. Um, the first series we've had this year was a success, you know, and no doubt the guys will be itching and ready to go against India here in this, this second series of the year. And obviously with the test championship uh, around, you know, it's something to obviously look forward to and, you know, to play for. So I think the guys are up for it, you know, just a matter for us you know, to play some solid cricket. And how much is the test championship of, uh, you know, of something? Of so a, a, a bit of a carrot to dangle, how much of that are you really, really looking forward to? I think we're all looking forward to it, you know. Um, you know, we started really well this year against England, beating England at home. And, you know, we had some brilliant individual performances. And then, you know, it just so happened that we brought it together as a, uh, as a collect, collective unit, you know. Just a matter for us now to to build, you know, the Test Championships over two years. And we've got lots of work to play over these next two years. And I think every series will be important, you know. Each and every moment will be will be important in, in each series. And it's just a matter for us to, to really go out there and give it all. Jason, Carlos said the other day that, you know, the team, as the results don't actually tell the whole story. And like, you know, you guys aren't, aren't doing as bad as the results make it out to be. Talk a little bit about just kind of like the little pieces that you can look from the, the past couple of series and take forward into the set test series. Yeah, I definitely would agree with Carlos, you know. I mean, we had a, a short in game today and um, it, most, more often than not, that with Lewis tends to come in favour the team batting second. You know, but having said that, they got off to a really good start, so did, so did we. You know, I think it was a really, really good wicket for cricket. Um, conditions got a little tougher in the afternoon after the rain fell and then the, the ball was a bit wet and the you outfield know, was obviously very wet as well too. So, again, it, it didn't probably work out for us today, you know, but I think, as I said before, there are still plenty of positives. You know, I think Nicholas Perron continues to show what he can produce here at this level. Um, you know, and, and every every single batter today really put their hands up and, and really gave a good account. I was really, really pleased how we battered the situation after the rain break. You know, I mean, at pass, I'm sorry, in the past we probably gone held to skeleton and lost too many wickets and, and not being able to battle the overs or struggling to battle the overs. I think we, we handled the situation really well today. And, you know, we put ourselves in a really good situation at the halfway stage. You know, just unfortunately we weren't able to defend them. But I guess, you know, when you don't hold a chance, these things happen. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.